Hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, we'll try to figure out how to uh, change the prompt and basically the theme of uh, ZSH. As developers, we spend a lot of time inside the terminal. Uh, so it is good to have a little nicer UI for the shell. And so what we'll do today is we'll try to improve the developer experience by improve, improving the terminal experience. So we'll install ZSH if you don't have it already. Uh, there's a configuration manager for ZSH called Omai ZSH. We'll install that. We'll use a random theme. So Omai ZSH provides a lot of themes. Uh, we'll try to use a custom theme. So this Power Level 10K is a very popular custom theme. Uh, we'll also walk through Power Level 10K configuration. Uh, then we'll install a plugin called Auto Suggestions. Uh, so it will give us some suggestions like this one. Uh, you can see the things in gray and uh, syntax highlighting. So once you type in something, you see that we are seeing colors. So let's begin. If you're on Mac, uh, uh, Mac ships ZSH by default. Uh, so we don't need to install uh, ZSH, but if you need to, you can go to this settings page and installing ZSH, this page. Once installation is done uh, for ZSH, we'll install oh my ZSH framework. So the command is this and let us just run it. So once installation is done, the prompt should look something like this. And what we can do is we can start customizing it. So we'll use VA command and we'll open ZSH RC. Here we'll find that there is the new configuration for ZSH. And uh, let us just say we want to update the theme for the ZSH config. So what, uh, the default theme uh, is this one, Robbie Russell. We'll change the theme to random. And whenever we open a new terminal, we'll be able to see some random theme loaded. So we tried out uh, random themes. Uh, there's this web page uh, slant on slant.co and it lists multiple theme and it ranks power level 10K as a very good theme. Uh, so power level 10K is a custom theme. So once we go to this page for power level 10K, it asks us to install a font. Once you install the font, you have to go here inside VS Code settings and we have to write Meslo LGS NF. It is given here and we'll just reload VS Code. So it says git clone. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're cloning the repository inside our themes folder. Once cloned, it says set, set ZSH theme to this value. So we change our random value to this value. Now, once we open a new terminal, uh, this setting is like a wizard. It will help us configure different settings for our uh, ZSH. And let us just walk through this. So we see a diamond, yes. We see a lock, yes. We see a Debian logo, yes. Yes. Uh, I like the second one. I like the Unicode one. Uh, we can go with dark. We don't need time. So right, the old setting, and here we are. Now, once we have the prompt, we type NVM we don't see any kind of auto suggestion. It would be great if we could have some kind of auto suggestion. So there's this GitHub repository, ZSH auto suggestions, and let us just try to implement this. So what it will do is you type E and it will show you what you can type, echo something. So we are using my ZSH, we'll just clone it and we have to add it to our list of plugins. So we can open our config and we have to find out where we have this list of plugins. Here it is. So plugins are just added by spaces. So 
we'll add a plugin and save it. Now let us start another terminal and so as you can see, we can see some suggestions and they make our life a little easy. So once you see a suggestion, you have to type the right arrow, not the tab, right arrow. Next, we'll install ZSH syntax highlighting. So here we can see some examples before it looked like this, after it looks like this. So it will be great to have some highlighting. So we'll go to the installation section and here with a plugin manager, we'll just clone it. So in most of the plugins and most of the themes are concept is same. We clone a GitHub repository into a custom folder of the ZSH. Once cloning, after cloning, we just need to add this into the plugins. So we'll scroll and find out the section where we have plugins. Here we have the plugins. Space. And add the plugin. Save it. And now if we create a new terminal and if we type echo and we have some kind of syntax highlighting now. If we go back and see what happened here, and you can see it looks so raw and dull. 